All right, hello everybody and welcome to the Oregon Trail version 2.1. This is playing in DOSBox, going back to the original. I have not played this game in years. I don't know if I'll remember anything about this game or how it works, but let's go to travel the Oregon Trail. Would you like to continue a saved game? No. Many guys, people made the trip to Oregon. You may be a banker from Boston, be a carpenter from Ohio, be a farmer from Illinois, or find out the differences between the choices. Let's find out the differences between these two. Traveling to Oregon isn't easy, but if you're a banker, you'll have more money for supplies and services than a carpenter or a farmer. However, the harder you have to try, the more points you deserve. Therefore, farmer earns the greatest number of points, and the banker earns the least. Let's be... Let's be a carpenter. Let's just go right in the middle then. What is the first name of your wagon leader? Well, that's me, of course. What are the names of the four other members of your party? First, we're going to go with Bedazzle, um, Drinking Cup. Oh, Drink Cup. Let's go with Vacuum. And scissors. Besides the bedazzle, I just looked around the room and decided some things. Yes, they're absolutely correct. It's 1848. You're jumping off place for Oregon is Independence, Missouri. You must decide which month to leave Independence. So let's say... Uh, let's ask for advice and just see what it says first. You said about being held for... Oh, I didn't realize I was actually asking people for advice I wanted to leave. I thought it was going to give me the options of like what the, how the months work. I know how the months work, but you, you know what I mean, how the months work. Um, you're told if you leave too early, there won't be any grass for your oxen to eat. If you leave too late, you may not get to Oregon before winter comes. If you leave at just the right time, there will be green grass and the weather will still be cool. So, I mean, if that's the case, you're going to choose like May, right? I don't. Well, I don't know what too early or too late is. It's not too early or too late based on the options. It's too early or too late based on the month. I don't know how long it's going to take me. I don't, I've never driven a wagon before. I don't know how long it's going to take. Before leaving Independence, you should buy equipment and supplies. You have $800 in cash, but you don't have to spend it all now. You can buy whatever you need at Matt's General Store. Well, good old Matt. Hello, I'm Matt. So you're going to Oregon. I can fix you up with what you need. A team of oxen to pull your wagon or clothing for both summer and winter. I want a team of oxen. Oh, plenty of food for the trip, ammunition for your rifle, spare parts for your wagon. Okay, so I need some oxen. I'm sure. How much does an oxen cost? It doesn't tell me how much it costs. One. There are two oxen and a yoke. I recommend at least three yoke. I charge $40 a yoke. Fine. We'll take your advice. I'll take three yoke. Uh, let's get some food. I recommend you take at least 200 pounds of food for each person in your family. I see that you have five people at all. You'll need flour, sugar, bacon, and coffee. My price is 20 cents a pound. So a thousand pounds... Still going to be a hefty amount of money, but that's what he's suggesting I get is a thousand pounds. So two hundred bucks. Um, three hundred and twenty left. I probably need some clothing. You'll need warm clothing in the mountains. I recommend taking at least two sets of clothes per person. Each set is worth ten dollars. I'm only going to take one set per person because I have a carpenter, and granted, carpenters make stuff. I don't know. I, I gotta skimp out on something, right? Ammunition and spare parts. Uh, let's go ammunition. I'll sell ammunition box of twenty bullets. Each box costs two dollars. Uh, 10 bullets or 10 boxes? I have $390 bills so far. And what what are the spare parts? It's good to have a few spare parts. Wagon wheel, axle, and tongue. How many wagon wheels do you want? I'm going to take two of each. So $450. We're going to go with that. I did his recommendation on oxygen and food. I'm less on clothing. I didn't have a recommendation on ammunition. I got some spare parts. Let's do it. Well then, you're ready to start. Good luck. You have a long and difficult journey ahead of you. Jesus. I don't know if you guys can hear that. It's loud. I'm turning it down. I hope that's not too low. Holy good lord, is it loud. Um, okay. Whew, that was super loud. I hope it wasn't too bad for you guys. The weather's cool. My health is good. My pace is steady. My rations are filling. You may continue on the trail, check supplies, look at the map, change pace, change food rations, stop to rest, attempt to trade, talk to people, buy supplies. Let's check our map first. So I'm starting way over there in Independence, Missouri. 
This is way here, Independence, Missouri, and I need to get all the way up here to Oregon City. So I'm assuming there's stores and stuff on the way, right? So let's just go. Let's go space. We're gonna we're gonna pick up the pace. We're gonna change our pace to a strenuous pace and continue on the trail. From Independence, it's 102 miles to the Kansas River crossing. Okay. Press enter to size up the situation. What situation? <gasps> what? Drink cup? How do you break an arm? Uh, um, can I bandage him? Check supplies. <laughs> His arm just broken. I can't do anything about it. Uh, I don't need any food, right? If I stop to rest, does that help? I'm going to continue on the trail and see what happens. Uh, here comes the... We're good. Okay, you are now at the Kansas River Crossing. Would you like to look around? Sure, why not? Oh, good. God dang, so loud. It's a beautiful, beautiful Kansas River Crossing. Whew. Okay, so I made it to the Kansas River Crossing. Let us... Uh, da, 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 da. Let's talk to people. Stranger, oh, I didn't want. I want to talk to my people. Can't afford to take a ferry or making our wagon into a boat. We'll turn it over, caulk the bottom and sides with with pitch, and use it to float our goods across. Have to swim the animals. Hope it doesn't rain. The river's high enough. So can I do that? Let's look at this map. Where am I? Where am I at on this map? So I started here. I'm now at the Kansas River. I don't see that on the map anywhere, but I mean, it's going to be somewhere in this area? Rock, Kearney? Or am I just right there? Like, I can't really tell where I'm at exactly. Um, let's... Let's stop to rest for a minute. How many days are you like? Just one. My The health is good. Weather's hot. Rations are filling. Let's keep... The, let me check my supplies again real quick. How am I doing on food? I have five sets of clothes. Still, I have six oxen, 200 bullets, two, all the wagon wheels. Two pounds of food. Oh, I've only used 75 pounds of food. So I'm I'm good so far. Let's just let's continue on the trail. You must cross the river in order to continue. The river at this point is currently 619 feet across and 3.6 feet deep in the middle. 3.6 feet deep is nothing. The weather's hot. Attempt to forge the river, caulk the wagon and float it across, take a ferry across, wait to see the conditions improve, or get more information. I think the conditions are good. I'm going to attempt to, attempt to ford the river. Go, little fellas. Wait. I lost two oxen and scissors in three feet of water? The oxen, maybe they were small, but scissors, man. Scissors? Well, that's less food, <laughs> I guess. From the Kansas River Crossing, it's 82 miles to the Big Blue River Crossing. So I've got less people, but more food now. What is this? Is this a different crossing? Keep going, buddy. Keep going. Yeah, made it. You're now at the Big Blue River. Would you like to look around? Prepare your ears, folks. Oh, it's so beautiful. So beautiful. Uh, anyways, weather's cool, health is good, pace is strenuous, rations are filling. Um, I don't need to rest. What if I... I want to see if I can attempt to trade. You meet another migrant who wants 157 pounds of food. He will trade you one ox. Well, in theory, I don't need the ox or the food anymore. Uh, you know what? Why not? Let's do that trade. And then let's continue on the trail. You must cross the river in order to continue. This river is currently 292, or 232 feet across and 2.7 feet deep in the middle. Okay, I'm going to ford this river, man. 2.7 feet. You shouldn't be drowning in 2.7 feet. Scissors, you already dead. You just couldn't swim. Yeah. What? My supplies? I lost a day worth of supplies. That's unfortunate. 182 miles. 
let's uh let's just keep keep trucking, man. Keep trucking. Find wild fruits. Hell yeah. I'm assuming that. Oh, is that a hospital? Can what's his name get his arm unbroken? <laughs> You're now at Fort Kearney. Would you like to look around? All right. Okay. So, uh, let's talk to some people since we're at a fort. The game is still plentiful along here, but getting harder to find. With so many overlanders, I don't expect it to last more than a few years. Folks, shoot the game for sport, take a small piece, and let the rest rot in the sun. So I should probably hunt while I'm here, right? Wait, can you not hunt? You can't hunt at this one. Oh, that's sad. You can't, you can't hunt. I can buy supplies, though. What do I want to buy? I don't need any more oxen. $12 for clothes. It's more money. Food, 25 cents. So everything's gone up a little bit. I still have... I think I'm good. Let's just... Uh, let's just... Let's change our pace, actually. Change our pace to a grueling pace and continue on the trail. It's 250 miles to Chimney Rock. Yeah. I mean, I, I'm rocking this, baby. We go make it. Oh, here's a snake bite. Uh. There's no, like, fixing. Let's change the pace back to a strenuous pace. The health is fair. Rations are still filling, so that's fine. I'm going to hunt for food while we're here. Whoa. Press enter key, space bar. So I'm using the number pads. Escape key to stop hunting. To point the rifle. Wait. Okay, I just used the left and the... Period. Okay, these two. And then space bar. Okay. Can I move? Can't move. Boom! Yeah! Is he mine? Can I, can I get him? I can't get him. Oh, shoot. Ah, he's in the way. That rabbit was quick. So I don't think I can move anywhere. Okay. From the animals you shot, you got 987 pounds of meat. Are we only able to carry 100 pounds? Oh, my God. I just wasted so much meat. Can I go get that meat? Oh, that's annoying. Uh, let's continue on the trail. Uh, is that a stump? You pass a grave site. Would you like to look closer? Sure, why not? Here's, here lies a... Okay. There lied a... Nine miles to the next landmark. There we go. You are now at Chimney Rock. Sure, let's take a look around. Do, 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 do. Okay, um, let's talk to people at Chimney Rock. Chimney Rock's moonlight and awfully sublime. Many Indians came to our wagon with fish to exchange for clothing. We bought a number. They understand a swap and no swap. Seem most anxious to get shirts and socks. I didn't get... Okay, let's try to... Let's see what happens if I attempt to trade. You mean another immigrant who wants to, who wants one ag wagon axle? She would trade you one wagon tongue. No, I don't know. No, they were all the same price. Um, I guess let's just continue. My health is still just fair. Eighty-six miles to Fort Larry, so it's like right there. It's not that far. No broken legs. No broken legs. Okay, I made it. Uh, for sure, let's look around real quick. Boom, it's beautiful. Uh, let's let's check my supplies real quick. 196 bullets, 624 pounds of meat. I'm still doing fine on most of this stuff. I'll talk to some people. The Pawnee are the mortal enemy of the Sioux. I would not hesitate to kill any Pawnee I met, but I would never, I've never killed a white man. All I ask from the white man is he to leave me alone and to leave my buffalo alone. So basically, don't hunt is what you're saying. Is this the chick who wanted to trade the uh, wagon tongue? Yeah, it was. So let's just continue on the trail. Wow, 
I, I, I said, can lose three days. A thief? Can we kill him? I wasn't sleeping anyway, man. I'm going to stop. I'm going to hunt now. Let's see if these guys are, are going to kill me. Okay, I got it. Oh, he turned around on that bush. Oh, I missed. Boom, he's mine. Boom. Stupid thing in the way now. What? Got him. So that's going to be like plenty of food. Because I'm very hundred. 980 pounds. I shouldn't have killed that dude's buffalo, should I? He gonna be mad. Uh, let's continue on the trail. He told me to leave his buffalo alone. I couldn't listen. Now, Independence Rock, would you like to look around? Sure, why not? It's beautiful. And let's attempt to trade with somebody. He wants to one wagon axle, one wagon tongue. No, I'm not going to do that. Let's look at my map. Where am I at on this map? Okay, so now I see it. Now I'm at Independence Rock. I got gotcha. you. So I'm a little less than halfway. So I'm going to need to get uh check supplies i need some food pretty soon everything else is doing fine i haven't rested at all i'm gonna go back up to that grueling pace but i'm also gonna change my food rations to be a meager rations it's probably a bad idea He has exhaustion. Okay, so let's uh, let's change our pace back. Uh, where's my pace? There it is. Change the pace back to a steady pace. And let's continue on. Oh, I think we just changed seasons. You know, South Pass, would you like to look around? Uh, sure. We're there. Continue on the trail. Check supplies. Let's attempt to trade. See what people want. He wants one one tongue and will give me 23 pounds of food. 23 doesn't seem like that many pounds of food, but I will I will do that trade. Um You think there's more people trading? Another area who wants one ox will trade you one wagon tongue. No, thank you. And let's get my food rations back up to filling again. And continue on the trail. The trail divides here. You may head for Green River Crossing, head for Fort Bridger, or see the map. Green River Crossing or Fort Bridger. So Fort Bridger South. I don't know where Green River Crossing is, though. Let's try Green River Crossing, even though I have no idea what it is. Dysentery! He gonna die. Very little water. I didn't... The water's not one of the options, man. Yes, let's look around. I see that. My food is still at filling. What do my supplies look like, though? I have plenty of food. The water's not an option. What can I do about... About this stuff? And I can't do anything with the clothes. Let's talk to some people. My family didn't have enough food and independence. We have been eating very small rations since Fort Lemire, mainly because of that. My heart is poor, or my health is poor, and my sister is mountain fever, so we're stopped here for a while. Okay, let's attempt to trade. One wagon wheel for wagon tongue. No. Um, let's just rest for. We'll rest for two nights. I don't know if resting helps at all in this game. And now let's let's continue on the trail. You must cross the river. It's 400 feet across and 20.1 feet deep in the middle. Okay. Attempt to ford the river. Obviously not. Caulk the wagon and float it across. To take the ferry across or wait to see if the conditions improved or get more information. I think I need to take a ferry in this particular case. 
Per operator says that he'll charge you five dollars and that you have to wait six days. Uh, I think I'm gonna have to in this particular case. <laughs> Watch the fairy sink after all that. Nope, we made it just fine. Fairy got your party safely across. Thank you, fairy. 143 miles to Soda Springs. How am I on the wrong trail again? 217 miles of food. I need to hunt for food. Yeah, I definitely need to hunt. Unless, unless somebody wants to trade some food. One set of clothing for 28 pounds of food. I did lose a person. Okay. <laughs> uh, I'm also going to hunt for food. Got it. And then, got it. Okay, now let's stop hunting now. I got 63 pounds of meat. Can I hunt again? Uh, you don't have the right angle that I wanted. Okay, I think I'm going to be... I'll be okay with those guys. 211 pounds. I'm going to hunt one more time. Give me some more food, baby. Got it. I want Bambi. Oh, uh, no. Oh, one, more, one more Bambi. That's way too big. Such a waste. Whatever. You're going to die. <laughs> I mean, aw. Okay, let's continue on the trail. Because now I got plenty of food. I wonder if that's something you're not supposed to be able to do. Or you're not supposed to be able to... Bedazzle has exhaustion. Okay, let's, uh... Let's stop to rest for two days then. Continue on the trail now. I don't know what you mean by very little water, man. Inadequate grass. Vacuum's broken a leg! Uh, I hate it when my vacuum breaks a leg. Drinking cup has... Di drink cup? Didn't drink cup dead? Hmm... Okay, I think you're dead twice? Or are you the one that broke an arm? You might have broken the arm. Uh, Soda Springs, would you like to look around? Sure, why not? Let's look around. There's a lot of people chilling here. Uh, let's talk to them. For so that There are many cutoffs to take to the shortened journey. Taking all the shortcuts, you can save many days on the trail. And why not? Saving time of frisions is worth the risk. Is it really now? Or are you trying to... Uh, do something bad. Another game I once traded one of my own song and traded me 65 bullets. My bullets, I obviously don't need that many bullets. I miss most of the time, and I still got plenty. So, no. And let's change our pace. We're going to go to a grueling pace and continue on the trail. My health is poor. 57 miles. I can make it there quite quickly. Typhoid! Uh, sure, let's look around. It's a great little place. Let's buy some supplies. And now I could actually buy that... What was I missing? I want to buy some clothing. Oh, this place is relatively... Oh, no, it's more expensive. I'm going to buy one more set of clothing because I traded the one. I'm going to... I'm going to leave the store. I think that's all I really need because I can... What were people trading here? He wants 184 bolts, and I don't have this. What's he want 184 bolts for? I'm going to go to the store and buy bullets to get me up to 184, because I'm really curious what this guy wants. Bullets. Uh, we'll buy five more boxes. I didn't. I don't remember what I had before, so... Check supplies. Bullets. 278. Oh, okay. I oh, is it twenty bullets per box? Is that what it is? Yeah, I think it is twenty bullets a box, and I didn't think about that. So let's try to trade now. You can't. Oh, there it is. Seven. Missed it. Wait. No. Can I attempt to trade again? Oh, they change what they want. She'll trade you one wagon tongue. Want 72 pounds of food, one set of clothing? Hell no. 
one wagon tongue for 25 pounds of food. Like, I don't, I don't know. Let's just go. Oh, broken wagon tongue. Yeah, damn straight I'd like to repair it. That's what I got. Oh, oh, gotcha. Okay, that's okay. I replaced it with a spare part. There we go. So, back wagon tongue. I need to buy one of those. It's going to break, like, right now, isn't it? I'm in the desert, apparently. Come on, you can make it. Okay. Sure, let's look around. Blah, blah, blah. Let's check my supplies. I have zero wagon tongues, so I'm going to buy some wagon tongues. I have very little pounds of food as well. Uh, what do people want to trade? Trade you one set of clothing for an ox. No, thank you. Can't I buy... Oh, there's nothing to buy here. Uh, uh, let's see if anybody trades anything good. Who wants one wagon tongue? No, I want to buy a wagon tongue from somebody. He will trade you one wagon axle. Mm, no. Come on, tongue. E 50 pounds of food for 150. No way. We're just going to go. You must cross the river. It's 1,000 feet and 6.1 feet deep. Okay, we are going to cock this one and float it. I'm going to lose like so many oxen, aren't I? They all look like they're drowning. I seem to have made it, though. You had no trouble. Damn straight, I didn't. I know what I'm, I know what I'm doing. So now let's size up the situation and let's hunt. Well, if you sit behind a tree, man. Nothing comes over here. I can't move, man. Got it. 127 pounds. Okay, I got 100. I'm going to attempt to hunt again. Hunt for food again. I could have gotten him. Got him. That's a good shot. Is he going to come back? Nope. Damn it. I missed him too. Come on, that rabbit ain't going to be enough. Squirrel! That squirrel's not going to be enough either. Three bones! Okay, let's hunt again. I got to get something good here. This is much more open. I don't think I can get that guy. Nope, that bush is in the way. Boom! Oh, yeah. Boom! Oh, yeah. 118. Okay, let's hunt one more time. Let's get me some food. Boom! That should be enough. 180 pound bear. Check my supplies. Now I'm sitting at 322 pounds of food. I like it. Let's continue on the trail. But Dazzle? Dazzle, man, broke your arm. What? What's sad? No! Yes, please repair it. Oh, no! I don't have a tongue. You must trade for one. Okay, let's, uh... What's time to trade? I need the wagon tongue. You mean another immigrant who wants two wagon tongues? You break two of your wagons? Where's the, uh, I need the seven until I get a wagon tongue. He will trade you one wagon tongue for 97 pounds of food. Okay, whatever. Okay, let's continue on the trail now. They're going to buy some more wagon tongues at this place. Okay, yes. Okay, we're first buying supplies. Wagon tongues, six. I need two of them. That feels much better. Um, I can leave the store. Uh, where am I at on this map now? Oh, I'm almost there. I'm going to make it. Come on, Oregon. Let's talk to the people and see what they have to say. At every fort along the trail. Prices have been higher than at the previous fort. This is outrageous. They're taking advantage of us. If I only had a chance to do it again, I'd buy more supplies and independence. So basically, you're telling me what I should have done was completely filled up because having the money now helps me not at all. So, whatever. Let's continue on. 160 miles. I'm going to stop here. 
We're going to hunt because I need more food. I'm in the big open clearing and nothing is coming in a direction that I can get to it. It's all coming in these spots that I can't shoot. Ah, I got it. This bear is going to be too much. Too much food, but oh well. 224. Just hunt again. Got it. That should be enough. That's probably a 60 pound deer. I can get some more stuff and make it worth it. Like a squirrel? I can't even shoot that squirrel. It's going to be way too much food. I think it's probably bad when that bear eats you. Uh, we're going to hunt one more time. I just need to get some more food because I have to trade that lady like a lot of my food. Ah, you ran into me, dear. Oh, God. Now you're in the way completely waiting for that deer to come back over here. Yeah, I can't get through there. And that's that can't get through anywhere. Got a squirrel! So now I can hit something from this direction if it comes in. Eh, three pounds of food. Whatever. Let's continue on this trail. Health went from fair to poor. I don't like that. A thief comes during that and steals 39 pounds of food. Can I kill the thief, man? Let's attempt to trade with somebody for something. Uh, wagon wheel axle for 29 pounds of food. Why not? I have one wagon wheel axle still. I should be good. Let's let's continue on the trail. One of the oxen is injured. Can I shoot him? I'm at a grueling pace. I'm going to make it, man. If it's an impassable trail, just keep going. <gasps> wow, fruit. Is that good? Does it give me food? I don't have any idea what it is. What's my supply look like? 294. Okay, I'm still doing okay. Let's just continue. Oh, he was already injured. It's okay. We know that. Continue. We're there. Sure, why not? Let's see what we can... Uh, let's see. Talk to some people. Since crossing the snake at Fort Boise, it's been just mountains and desert. Dust deeper each day. Six inches at a time. No tracks. Just clouds of dust. Many cattle choked on the dust after swimming the river, then bled and died. That seems sad. Uh, okay. Let's attempt to trade. What do I need? Another wagon axle. He wants five, 51 pounds of food for an egg. That is perfect. Yes, I will. I will trade that. Boom. I'm good to go. Continue on the trail. Uh, Fort Walla Walla the Dallas. Let's see. You want to go to the Dallas? I'm going to go to the Dallas. On 77 miles to the Dallas. There's the Dallas. One of the oxygens are injured. Can he heal up at the next town or something? Made it. Sure. Let's look around. That's interesting. Um, let's see if we attempt to trade. I have 153 pounds of food. I should make it to the end. She wants one set of clothing for 73 bolts. I don't know. I don't know. I don't need, I don't need your stuff. Let's uh, let's just continue. On. Let's let's talk to these people. I think this is the last run. I collect the tolls for the Barlow Road. A bargain at twice the price. Until last year, the Overlander had no choice. Everybody floated the Columbia. Now, with Mr. Barlow's new road, you can drive your wagon road to Oregon City. Are you telling me how much does it cost? Float down the Columbia River and take the Barlow Toll Road. Well, how much does the Barlow Toll Road cost? $7 to travel. Are you willing to do this? Yes. From the Dallas, it's 100 miles. Heavy fog. I'm losing a day. 79 miles. Is that Oregon? I'm still losing days. Got 99 pounds of food left. 16 miles. The Willamante Valley. Congratulations, you have made it to Oregon. Let's see how many points you have received. Three people in fair health, 1,200. One wagon, 50. Four oxen, 16. Six spare wagon parts, 12. Five sets of clothing, 10. So I didn't use any clothing. <laughs> I don't get it. 259 bullets, 5. 
81 pounds of food, three, to over $53 cash, 50. For going as a carpenter, your points are doubled. Jesus. For going as a carpenter, so it's only $6.92. Stephen Meeks, Linda Hines. I don't know who these people are. Adventure, Adventure, Greenhorn. Well, I don't know where I'm at. The top ten. So I made this top ten. I made it. I was, I was fifth place, man. Fifth place. Type your name as you would like to see it on the Oregon Trail top ten list. Chase Hino. Oh, yes. No, no changes. I love it. Thanks, guys, for watching Oregon Trail. Um, I, I don't think I've ever played a full game of this, let alone finished this whole thing. Current top ten list, original top ten list, etc., etc. Uh, well, anyways, guys, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. I will see you next time.